Hello, welcome to the data channel and uh, you're watching ChatGPT for data professional course and as part of this video we will be discussing categorical data encoding using ChatGPT and uh, this particular video we will be discussing more of a theoretical which we are calling as a part one so in the part two you can expect uh, uh, more of a practicals uh, so before understanding the uh, before j jumping to the practicals it is important to understand what exactly the categorical data encoding means in data science and why exactly uh, we we need to use that uh, in when we are doing data science or data analysis uh, for that matter so before proceeding if you are new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for instant notifications so let's get started So these are the importance of uh, categorical data encoding uh, when you exactly want to kind of uh, point this down so if you want to take a notes of it but what exactly categorical data encoding means right so in the in when you are doing a categorical data encoding the main thing uh, the main purpose of doing that is uh, data pre-processing right so this is a part of data pre-processing the data encoding uh, is a crucial step basically or a fundamental step when you do data when you are doing a data pre-processing so data pre-processing means uh, if you want to do any kind of analysis analytics or any ai ml use cases data science use cases right so data has to be prepared well so for that particular use case so data encoding is one of the technique in data pre-processing before exactly you start processing or start applying your use case particular use case that you want to apply on right so in this uh, data encoding technique uh, it actually ensures the categor categorical variables uh, are appropriately transformed to a numerical format that means what that exactly means is suppose you have a column in a data right so that particular data is having a categorical vari a variable suppose uh, say for example it is having a categorical variable called color so the values might be red green yellow right so that is considered as a categorical value and that can be uh, appropriately transformed into a numerical value. So why exactly we are doing that? So we do that to preserve the underlying information and reducing the bias and also improving the overall performance and interpretation of the data. Because, uh, so that's just think about this, right? So if you have, uh, if you want to apply any algorithm or any uh, machine learning uh, uh, algorithm or uh, any data analysis algorithm or any perform any transformations on the data so which will be more perform uh, when you come when it comes to performance on the large volume of data so definitely using the uh, categorical value like if there is a if, if you are uh, highlighting the red yellow green as uh, 0 1 2 something like this uh, so then the calculations will be easier because when you want to do a calculations uh, always numerical numerical values are uh, best right so instead of doing the calculations on the categorical variables right like red green yellow so if there is a value is called 0 1 2 so that will help the performance or that will help for any data analysis so and so that is all about the categorical data encoding right but when you come to if you want to consider the points and take the notes of the points so these are the main uh, few uh, points that we have highlighted here so one is handling non-numerical data so that means when you take a machine learning algorithms uh, like uh, linear regression svms and neural network uh, so these requires input features to be numeric so categorical variable which consists of uh, labels or categoricals right so these kind of columns need to be converted into a numerical format otherwise uh, these uh, algorithms won't work as expected so these are the mathematical models basically so these mathematical models need non numeric I mean numeric uh, kind of a data so that's why this categorical uh, data which is non numeric has to be converted into a numeric data and other reason is improving model performance so let's take example where you want to apply a certain machine learning model so 
uh, there will be two things one is uh, you need to preserve the information like proper uh, encoding uh, you need to choose so so in the encoding also we have different encodings right so we will be seeing what different encoding looks like but uh, there will be different encodings uh, when you are doing the uh, when you are before when you are doing the data encoding there are different types so which type of encoding we need to apply so that is also crucial because uh, when you are doing the encoding the actual information shouldn't be lost so that is again a key important thing right so that is uh, important and also you need to reduce the bias if there is any bias like incorrect or suboptimal encoding can introduce a bias or a mislead to the model uh, leading the um, false positive or a poor poor perform predictions and the third thing is facilitating the interpretation so what is interpretability so that means uh, some encoding techniques uh, such as uh, one hot encoding it's one of the encoding and it makes it makes it easier to interpret the impact of categorical variable on the outcome by representing each uh, category uh, as a separate feature itself and the next one is dealing with ordinal data so ordinal encoding means uh, uh, for ordinal categorical variables uh, uh, encoding methods like ordinal encoding helps to preserve the order uh, allowing the model to understand the relevant uh, relative importance and ranking of these categories so what is ordinal what is one hot encoding we will see in the next slide so but these are the just the importance we'll be discussing and the other importance of data encoding is handling high cardinality so high cardinality means there is large number of categories right so a particular column is having a large number of category let's take again example of color so in the color column there might be if you take a distinct uh, of colors in that color column it may be three it might be 300 also right so if it is 300 that means it is having a high cardinality right so then in that case encoding methods uh, like uh, target encoding or feature encoding can help reduce the dimensionality so we need to do a dimensionality reduction in this case so making the model more efficient and less prone for overfitting kind of scenarios so another is improving data consistency so this is where the standardization comes into picture where encoding helps standardize the representation of the categorical data across the different uh, data sets so hence making it easier to compare combine and analyze data from multiple sources right and finally there will be a data exploration if you want to do like proper uh, encoding can help in feature engineering enabling the creation of new features that captures uh, important relationship between categorical variable and target variable so like as we were telling Rook, so we will in the next slide we will discuss about uh, uh, common encoding techniques so here you can see the first one is one one hot encoding so so we will see exa exactly what exactly this means but uh, these are the techniques one hot encoding label encoding target mean encoding frequency encoding and binary encoding so when you are doing a, a particular column you take it and that column need to be applied encoding and it de depends on uh, the type of a data the cardinality of the data and what scenario you want to apply what algorithm you want to apply what use cases that you have what are the kpis so based on all these factors uh, um, you kind of uh, consider which encoding is suitable for which column right so let's see uh, examples of these right so one hot code encoding is uh, nothing but like let's take a categorical var variable that is like color there is a red blue green so there are only three colors in, the, in this color color column the th distinct three columns are red blue and green so when you want to apply the hot encoding for in this case uh, you can use 100010001 what exactly this means so one means presence of red zero means absence of blue again zero means absence of green so in the similar way it is like r b g r b g r is absent b is absent and green is present so it is like a flag but you are using all the three distinct variables you you represent one also you represent zero also so this is usually how it works is if there is one column so one column will be split into three columns right one uh, color column is split into red blue green column and red column will have one 
and blue column will have if the value is red red column will be 1 and other two columns will be 0 so additionally there will be uh, it will one column is getting split into three different columns so again this depends right like if you have a uh, the high there is a high cardinality you cannot use it because uh, otherwise you are, you end up creating lot of if there are 100 um, colors so you end up creating 100 different columns one color column is split into 100 different columns so that's where it might not be fit in that case but uh, so you can choose to use it when there is a very less number of distinct values right and the next one is label encoding so label encoding is again you kind of a label it so based on its sizing so like a t-shirt sizing right so suppose like you have a um, color again like you have a size basically so it's not a color so just consider a size small medium large so if there is a small you are giving zero medium is one large is two here there is no flag as you can see in the previous uh, the difference between one and one hot encoding is one hot encoding the values are all, always zero and ones and one column is split into multiple columns so here so there is no new column getting introduced basically right but uh, if there are like 100 different values right so for each different value you start giving the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that right and size uh, wherever it was a like a string so it get converted into an integer okay so this if even though if you have 100 different colors you can still use it or if if you have 100 different size you can still use uh, label encoding because you are labeling here so labeling can start from 0 to 100 thousand whatever and you, can, you are using only one column here so there is no uh, problem of uh, uh, how much ever values you have here right and uh, next is target mean encoding so suppose there is an example where you are you are having a income column right so income column and uh, each uh, you have a city also like basically target mean encoding means so you need to have a target variable so target value variable is average income right but the actual categorical uh, variable is city so city for each cities you need to assign a target mean encoding based on average income so average income is your target variable so target for each uh, city is you are you need to calculate the mean of it and then allocate the value for it so, okay so then what happens is wherever the city is new york so the salary the income column will become 80 80 80000 dollar so wherever the city uh, column is san francisco it becomes uh, 90k dollar right so that is how you kind of take a mean of it so so that it is a kind of a used in a certain calculations based on different algorithms right the next is binary encoding so binary encoding as the name says it is zero or one right and suppose there is a country column india usa and canada so you need to perform a label encoding what exactly you do india is zero us is one canada is two but when it comes to binary encoding what exactly you do is like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. okay the difference between uh, one the first one that we saw right one hot encoding here also we are using uh, 0, 1, 0. but uh, the thing is it is like split into different columns exactly right if there are three columns so three new columns are created here but when it comes to the binary encoding there are no new columns getting created okay the same data is represented the same um, i mean there is only one column called uh, country so it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. so based on that it will be represented okay instead of uh, uh, integers you are representing it as a or changing it like 0, 1, 2 you give a value for it and then uh, this is a label encoding but actually the label is converted into binary by exactly two is represented in binary as one zero right one is represented as zero one that is why and the next technique is frequency encoding so here uh, say for example you have a job title right a job title might be engineer teacher doctor and uh, so engineer the frequency you see the data right you take the data and you see exactly measure the frequency of engineers uh, in that data uh, in the in the in the rows that you have right so if the data frequency is 50 percent so then you allocate engineer the frequency uh, frequency encoding as 0 
right and then for the teacher you uh, you allocate as 0.3 and for doctor you're so it's based on the data that you have it's just an example right so it depends on what data you have and uh, you need to calculate the frequency so then that frequency is allocated to that uh, and as you see like the the uh, sum of all these should be equal to one so that is how you allocate the frequency right that means it's 100 percent or the total will be 100 percent right so finally we see something called as ordinal encoding it's uh, we can consider it's a, it's a kind of a label encoding that we already saw so where we kind of uh, assign assign a numerical value for a categorical based uh, but the only difference between the label encoding and the ordinal encoding is uh, so label encoding is not based on any rank so you can assign uh, any any integer value or numerical value to any any categorical value that you have but in case of ordinal encoding uh, you are converting here also you are converting the categorical value into numerical value uh, but only thing is here the difference is uh, it's based on the rank that means uh, the high school is uh, which is a lower rank so you are giving one bachelor's you are giving two masters you are giving three because it's based on the rank or must uh, based on the qualification right so you are uh, basically giving the your numbering based on the that rank so this can be anything right so you can um, choose uh, like if there is an age right so based on the age or based on a kind of a certain uh, range basically you can give the rank if the age is between 10 to 20 you can give rank 1 so if the age is between 20 to 30 you can give rank 2 something like that so you can consider you can use uh, i mean ordinal encoding uh, for any such of uh, such cases where you want to assign a kind of a ranking ranking for that right so this is all about uh, each of these encoding techniques that we discuss has a specific use cases and the choice depends on the nature of categorical variable and the requirement of uh, machine learning model or model or algorithm that you are using so in the next next coming slide uh, we will be explaining how exactly you can encode a particular columns uh, by taking an example and uh, you, we will also use the chat gpt for uh, kind of a help help uh, derive those scenarios or kind of a uh, leverage uh, the capability of chat gpt to kind of a uh, get the code relevant code generated out of it for uh, performing the ordinary uh, all, all kind all kind of uh, categorical encodings so hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.